Are you needing to study for the expert infantry badge or the EIB, or do you struggle to maybe pass it and need some help studying? Well, guess what? There's an app for that. That's right. There is now an app to help you pass the EIB, study for the EIB, whatever the circumstance is. I even feel like probably just to kind of study for the army, certain of the tasks that are involved with the EIB are just common soldiering tasks as well. So when this whole COVID kind of pandemic thing started and everybody's kind of on quarantine, there was a lieutenant that decided, hey, I'm gonna make some good use out of my time while I'm quarantined, while I'm stuck at home or whatever, and I'm gonna create an app to help people study a little bit better for the IB because the thing that they were finding was that, you know, soldiers were using like these little paper books or these study guides or whatever, they get ruined, they get destroyed. So he's like, why don't I just learn how to program? Seems pretty easy enough, right? Well, that's what he basically did. He watched a bunch of YouTube videos, learned how to program, learned how to make an app, and use his knowledge of him himself actually being able to go through and pass EIB and get that expert infantryman badge and use that knowledge to create an app to allow soldiers to be able to utilize that to study for it and track their progress, maybe bookmark certain tasks that maybe they're struggling with to keep repeating them, all sorts of stuff. And the app is free. By the way, this is not like sponsored by this app or anything like that. They didn't ask me to do it or anything like that. I just heard about it, thought it was crazy. I downloaded the app myself to check it out. It's pretty cool. I think that even if you're not infantry, you're not going for EIB, some of the tasks might be useful for those of you that just wanna learn about the Army in general as well. So we launched the app, it's called EIB Pro, and it is free in the Apple Play Store, the Google Play Store, and the Apple iTunes Store, you know what I mean. But for both Android and for Apple phones, it is a free app, so we'll launch EIB Pro here. And inside of here, you have different tasks. There's a bunch of tasks that are involved with EIB. Things from like weapons to medical to patrols, all sorts of things. I mean, we can go through it and let's say hand grenades, right? You got a, a topic for hand grenades, you hit start. And it'll bring inside of here and it tells you like the tasks, the condition standards. For those of you that are not familiar with like these kind of terminology for the military, the for everything you do practically in the army, the military maybe even, they have like a task of what you're supposed to be doing, the conditions as far as you know, what you know, you're supposed to be using to be able to accomplish this standard or to accomplish this task or whatever, and how you're supposed to do it in, and then the standard as far as like, what is the standard? What time limit do you have? What is the task that you have to do and how it should be completed to be completed successfully as a standard? So it breaks down the task, task condition standard for this, the requirements and everything like that. It's even got like for this one, hand grenades, we got flashcards too. So if I go to flashcards, we got, it's showing me a grenade, so you're identifying basically the type of grenade, right? So you have this grenade here, which I flip it over and it's the M67 fragmentation. Uh, this grenade is used to disable or kill personnel. And then you have other flashcards we can go on through. Uh, off the top of my head, I'm gonna say this is a smoke grenade. I don't know what the model number is. Uh, no, it's a concussion effect uh, enclosed area type of grenade. So I would I would have got that wrong. So all sorts of flashcards. This one's a flashbang, so right now this one I think, but I don't know the model number. So more important things, right? You need to know the model number. So this allows you to study for that specific topic. So let's go backwards. Let's see another one, like M240, right? So that's a machine gun. Some of the tasks actually have videos, right? So if I want to click tap on this video one, I won't do that here because it actually plays a YouTube video, but there's videos to kind of help you with the steps to kind of go through it. And you can click on the steps and you can see what the steps are for you know, clearing and disassembling the uh, the weapon for the M240 and what all the different steps are that you can go through and you can kind of go through and practice it. And you can even save like some of these too. So if like you're struggling with it, then you can kind of save it and come back to it. And then there's also an area for like progress. So as you go through these tasks, you can kind of see how your progress is for the different categories and everything. And then you also have the saved tasks areas. So if you have some tasks that you want to save because you need to practice them more often, then you have those. But there's a lot of great ones in here that I saw. I think there's even some that have a timer uh, on some of the tasks where you'll go through and do the task and maybe it has to be done under a certain amount of time and you're, you're timed on it. So you can kind of practice doing that for certain things, right? There's medical stuff. I mean, some of this stuff is probably useful for those of you that want to join the army, but aren't yet in the army and you want to learn how to control bleeding, right? There's a video on it. So you can see the video of how to do it. it gives you the task condition standards. It even gives you sources. So even here on this one on the bottom, it even gives you like documentation numbers. And if you tap on some of these, it'll take you into wherever it goes to from Chrome or your Google Drive or whatever in this case, for, because Android uh, takes you into those kind of different options. But to be able to see like where it's referenced from to learn a little bit more about that specific task. So there's a lot of stuff in here just for people that want to learn about the Army before they join, right? Maybe 
things like, let's see, a spy report. That's a pretty good one, right? To learn how to do a spy report. This one gives you the standards, the requirements, scale of video that probably gives you a demonstration for doing a spy report, which is like identifying enemy to, you know, give a location. It even kind of gives you the uh, sending a spy report, right? Line one, what it is, what line two is, all that stuff. So a lot of useful stuff, even for those of you that aren't trying out for EIB, that just basically want to learn some basic army stuff. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I would say that if you, you know, have the ability to be able to download the app, you got an iPhone, you got an Android device or whatever, download it, go through some of the tasks, especially if you're someone wanting to learn, especially if you're someone who is like an 11 Bravo that it wants to get that EIB, you know, get that cool little badge on your uniform and you don't want to carry around the little book to study from. You probably got a smartphone and you can easily just whip out that smartphone and sit there and study on your free time at home when you're not doing anything in the motor pool, whatever the case is and learn some of these tasks and practice them and get more proficient. Apparently, the lieutenant that created this app, they said in their platoon, their success rate for EIB doubled when they implemented this. They started using it, the lieutenant you know, presented it to the platoon, the individuals in the platoon started use it, utilizing it to prepare for the EIB test and everything, and their success rate doubled. So it apparently works, so I, I'd probably check it out and see what you think. For those of my infantry friends out there that did EIB, what do you think was the most difficult part for you trying to get that coveted EIB and try to get that cool badge and everything like that? Maybe help out some people that are looking to kind of get educated on doing the EIB and all that kind of fun stuff. So check you know the comment section to see if anybody's got some cool tips. I got some other video recommendations here. Maybe this one if you want to learn about the expert soldier badge. I mean, I know a lot of people give flack about it, but hey, it might be useful for those of you that you know are not 11 Bravos. If you want to check out my most recent video, I got that right here and then links in the description. Thanks for hanging out. I'm Christopher Chaos. I'll see you next time. See ya.